how to install a shelf over your washer and dryer? Yes! Well then keep watching for this step-by-step -step tutorial. Hi, my name is Kim with Kim Imagine DIY, where I hope to help you imagine the possibilities with DIYs and crafts. If that sounds like fun, consider subscribing. Now let's just jump right into this project. I recently moved into a new construction home, so my laundry closet is bare and in desperate need of attention. I also recently added this peel and stick wallpaper. You can click the card in the corner if you wanted to watch the tutorial on how to do that. First, you're gonna to wanna to determine where you want your shelf to be. I'm gonna do a nice low quick access shelf right above the washer and dryer. And I mainly wanna consider covering this water box over here. Not exactly visually pleasing. Then you want to measure the width and the depth of the shelf that you would like. I chose this bracket design, and if you read it carefully, it will let you know what size shelf it will use. I went over to Home Depot to pick up the one inch by 10 inch board. At home, then I measured and cut the length of the board to the size I needed. Next, I sanded it with my palm sander to make sure this shelf was nice and smooth. Then used a preconditioned stain because I am not the best when it comes to staining and this product really helps provide an even finish. Then I put three coats of walnut stain to get the dark rich color I was looking for and a weather top coat since my laundry room can be very humid. Next, you're gonna wanna try to find your studs. And a good way to get an approximate is all studs are either 16 or 24 inches apart. So you can start with getting a rough idea with a tape measure first. Because I have peel and stick wallpaper already up, I'm gonna use blue tape to mark the approximate and where the studs are instead of marking it with a pencil. So now that I have my approximate, <laughs> approximate. So now that I have my approximate three points of where the studs are, now it's time to use a stud finder to mark where your studs are. With confirmation from the stud finder, I reposition the blue tape to where the studs are I have to be very careful with my wall because of water pipes and there's a big dryer vent going through the wall as well. Here are the three studs. But to make it safe, I'm going to use this one because I'm most likely sure that that's a stud and I don't want to put anchors in the wall anywhere near the dryer vent. So I'm going to stud it here and then have another bracket evenly spaced um, on this side with anchors. Now I'm going to measure the distance from the wall to this stud and replicate the measurement on the other side for symmetry and use a permanent marker on the blue tape for accuracy. Now I need to determine where I want the brackets to sit. I'm just going to eye it up to get a general idea. So I have a, a good guessment of the horizontal line. So I'm going to use my self-leveling laser to make sure the bracket on the other side will be completely level. Now that I have my horizontal line, I'm just going to use the bracket and draw the top hole uh, with my pencil. Now for the moment of truth, to drill into the stud. Let's hope it worked. Then I grab my drill and used a drill bit smaller than the wood screw that was provided to create a pilot hole. Then I grabbed my screw gun and only screwed in the top screw most of the way. Since my nine volt screw gun wasn't strong enough, I switched to my Ryobi to finish it. Then I used my torpedo level to guide the bracket. Once it's straight, then I mark my second hole. Then I used my level again just to double check that my mark was correct. Now you can grab your drill and create another pilot hole. Then switch your bit to a Phillips and tighten your screw most of the way again. Then re-tighten the top and return to tighten the bottom. It helps make sure the bracket is even between the poles. For the other side, I need to prep for anchors. First drill the pilot hole and then make your hole larger for the anchor. For these types of anchors, I went all the way up to a quarter inch drill bit. Then grab your anchor and screw it into the wall with your Phillips bit. Be careful not to use too much force, you might break it. 
This step can also be done with a hand screwdriver if you're nervous about the force of your screw gun. Now screw the bracket to the wall with the top screw first again. Reminder, tighten it most of the way. We still need the bracket loose enough for us to use a torpedo level to make sure it's straight. Next, mark your second hole. You can drill the pilot hole through the bracket if your bit is small enough. Next, simply swivel the bracket out of the way for the larger quarter inch drill bit. Screw the anchor in and finally tighten your screw into the bracket. All right, the brackets are in. Ta -da! Now for the moment of truth. Uh, let's see if everything sits down nice and flat. Here we go. Total success. Ah, this is exciting. Uh, this is actually my first uh, floating shelf. So this is awesome book. And according to my torpedo level, it is level. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, you can click the card right up here or click here for an entire playlist. And I will see you guys in the next video.